Bay and happy Monday. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to start out today with a trip to New Zealand, thanks to Ibrahim and Angus. New Zealand is a place where that I would really like to go. However, uh, New, England, uh, New Zealand is in the ring of fire, and so there are lots of uh, volcanoes there, and uh, it's uh, extremely uh, unique terrain. So the population is 5.5 million. It's a beautiful place um, with the ocean and mountains coming together. Um, it's a country in Oceania, which is uh, what we used to call Australia, and it's divided into two islands. Hmm. So how do you get there? You fly. Uh, their national sport is rugby. And if you um, watch... Um, uh, rugby uh, in New Zealand, you'll see the teams do something called a haka. In the beginning, it's like a chant before they start the game. Anyhow, thank you for that project, boys. The next one is a poem by Malak. Now, the poem, I, from what I can read, Malak, this is outstanding. It's got a wonderful rhyme scheme, and it's called Dreams. Uh, it's super neatly written. Um, and well presented, but they, uh, it's written in markers. So I can't read some of the words, so I can't read the whole poem because I don't know what some of the words are, but, um, it's about, uh, dreams and it looks to be a little bit about a dream of maybe playing soccer, the, um, the Egypt national team. And one of my favorite lines is, uh, will you ever quit? Will you ever quit your dream? No way. I never let down my team. I love that. That is the uh, theme of her poem. And um, I have to say, Malak, um, this is awesome. Great job. Then we have a quick autobiography, all about, um, all about Me by Olivia Basta, who talks about having a twin, her best friend, uh, also a sister, and all of her favorite things like her teacher and spaghetti and meatballs. Always a proud favorite. There you go. And last but not least for today, we have some answers to some questions regarding the solar eclipse, which we just had by Anaya in 220. Um, why does it happen? Well, because the... Uh, the earth is always um, moving and um, and the so is the sun so um, eventually they're going to uh, be in a different position than they are now and sometimes the sun winds up uh, behind the moon which is between the earth and the sun. Um, uh, there are stages of the eclipse. So what is it called when the sun is um, completely covered by the moon? That's called totality. All right. Now, moving on to our wordle and mystery number. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm going to spell it for you. All right. Here we go. There is a word inside the word. Yeah. And this one, there's your clue. That's the word inside the word. And this is an adjective. There are three letters at the end of this word that make it an adjective. If we don't add these three letters, this is a noun. Your letter clue is this is a vowel. It's not one of the most common or the least common vowel. All right, mystery number, here we go. These are all 
even numbers, and they are all hominins. Now it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. I know it's not the same. And this is coming from, I don't know who it says, please be kind to everybody. And you know, kindness is for everybody and everybody can be kind, it goes both ways. And then it says kind, kind and McVeigh colors. Inside, little message, I opened up the envelope. This person loves math, which means that uh, math was kind to her, anyhow, or him. So whoever did this, I love this, made a, a nice little envelope. And of course, it goes, every day is a great day to be smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.